Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to share 4 penny stocks with massive growth potential. The first stock on the list is Eterna Zenteris. Eterna Zenteris Inc. operates as a specialty biopharmaceutical company commercializing and developing therapeutics and diagnostic tests. Its product Massimorlin, is an oral growth hormone secretagogue receptor agonist indicated for the diagnosis of adult growth hormone deficiency. The company was founded on September 12, 1990 and is headquartered in Charleston, South Carolina. During the quarter, Eterna managed to raise more than $50 million through both a closed-bought deal offering and the exercise of warrants. This puts it in a very advantageous cash position and comes right after executing its exclusive option agreement with Julius Maximilian's University. This will be for the evaluation of a potential vaccine for COVID-19. This now grants Eterna an exclusive worldwide patent to the vaccine. The company has plans to develop an oral dosage form of the COVID-19 vaccine, which could be a game changer if all goes well. Considering the focus on vaccine penny stocks right now, AEZS could be one to watch heading into second quarter. The second stock on the list is BGC Partners. BGC Partners Inc. engages in the provision of brokerage services to the financial markets. The firm offers integrated voice, hybrid, and fully electronic brokerage in a broad range of products, including fixed income, foreign exchange, equities, insurance, energy and commodities, and futures. It also provides trade execution, brokerage clearing, trade compression, post-trade, information, and other back-office services. The company was founded in 1945 and is headquartered in New York. In its latest earnings report, BGC Partners showed revenue of $479 million. For the full year, this number jumps to $2 billion. While it reported a GAAP loss of $19.5 million, its adjusted EBITDA came in at over $107.9 million. This represents a post-tax EPS of $0.13 cents per share. Over the course of the year, two of its subsidiaries, Lucera and Capital Lab, grew by 45% and 27%, respectively, year over year. If we look at the report, we see that BGCP is growing at a substantial and stable rate. BGCP could be one of the names to have on your penny stocks watch list heading into the second quarter. The next stock on the list is Kelso Technologies. Kelso Technologies Inc. is a product development company. It designs, engineers, markets, produces, and distributes various proprietary pressure relief valves and manway securement systems. The company operates through the following business segments, design, production, and distribution of various proprietary products and active suspension control system for no-road vehicles. Its products are initially designed to be installed on railroad tank cars which carry hazardous and non-hazardous commodities. The company was founded on March 16, 1987 and is headquartered in South Surrey, Canada. Last week, Kelso Technologies reported its full-year financial results for 2020. It brought in roughly $11.1 million in revenue with around $4.8 million in gross profit during the year. This puts it at a gross profit margin of a healthy 43%. While this revenue is less than in 2019, the company attributed this to the lessened demand for its products due to the pandemic. Given that Kelso works primarily in the rail tank car industry, it is affected greatly by any global supply issues. In 2020, sales declined by around 46% over the previous year due to the pandemic. But, Kelso shows that it has a long-term game plan as well. By reducing its expenses by 5% for the year, the company states that it has remained cash flow positive. According to Ibis World, the market size, measured by revenue, of the rail transportation industry is expected to be $68.5 billion in 2021. Furthermore, as manufacturing output increases thanks to economies reopening, demand for things like long-distance freight rail could increase. Utilizing Kelso's technology to design and sell optimized solutions is something that may be important, especially when discussing the reopening trade. The next stock on the list is Allied Healthcare Products. 
Allied Healthcare Products Inc. manufactures, markets, and distributes a variety of respiratory products used in the healthcare industry to hospitals, hospital equipment dealers, hospital construction contractors, home healthcare dealers, and emergency medical product dealers. Its products include respiratory care products, medical gas equipment, and emergency medical products. While not much news comes out of AHPI, we can look at events in the past year to better understand the company. Given AHPI's decades-long history in the medical devices market, we can use previous charts to understand why shares of AHPI are rising. Back when the SARS outbreak occurred in 2002, shares of AHPI rose by more than 60% in a short period. Similarly, in 2009 when the H1N1 flu became widespread, shares of AHPI more than doubled. This is the result of investors surrounding a company that could have a relation to current events. In the biotech industry, speculation is often much more impactful than in other markets. This is simply the nature of biotech. While Allied offers a large range of products, investors should consider the volatile nature of the stock in the past. The company has also shown declining revenue, income, and margins, which is not the most encouraging sign. Despite this, AHPI stock surged in after-hours trading on Friday. There weren't any headlines or filings to immediately point at. So it will be interesting to see how things unfold come Monday morning. Thanks for watching, if you liked this video, hit the subscribe button to receive more like it in the future.